On this device we have a sonar. It's set to uh, scan vertically. Uh, so you can see a side profile of what you're driving over. We have a pan and tilt unit. Um, on this side, we have an orientation module, which tells us our heading, our roll, and our pitch. We've got an automatic winch, which pays out and sucks back in as you drive forward and backwards. It aims to keep a fairly consistent tension on the tether. On the back here, we have a water sampler, and we can take four individual samples at different uh, locations during the run. And in here we got a, a temperature probe, which is extremely accurate and we use to detect uh, changes in water temperature or air temperature. And I think that's pretty much it. On here, this is your dashboard. It gives you your heading, uh, your camera, this orientation, and then you got your roll pitch sensors and your distance uh, from where you've uh, started from. We have a water sampler and we can take samples and hit the button, it opens the valve on the vehicle. Uh, we can toggle our lights on and off. We have a temperature map which shows the temperature over the distance we've driven. And right here is where we entered the water and it dipped down to about 6 degrees. And we're facing pretty much south. We have all our system status system voltages, water alarms, uh, temperature, and then to turn the winch on and off we have this winch controller page. For video feeds here we can uh, switch cameras by clicking that and when our sonar is turned off it will pop back up to our main camera and we can switch around start the sonar again. Cool, that looks great. It never, like that anomaly of dumping slack seems to have gone. Okay. But by all means, let's, let's test it more thoroughly. Out of here. Well done, gentlemen. <laughs>